Hey boys and girls, Gary Dean, Tampa, Florida. Welcome to the 11th volume of the Untold Truth in Detailing. This is a mini series I'm putting together because I feel like there's so much bullshit out there and so many people with so many opinions that aren't really active in the field, they don't know detailing in and out they just sit on the computer all day and uh, they're internet smart which has nothing to do with actually being in the field you know you can sit behind your computer all winter long while it's ice and frozen outside while us people down in Florida and you know in other other states that don't have crazy severe winters are out there actually working doing the jobs getting the experience um, so, I am sick to death of all this random information out there, and I'm, I am committed to sharing with you guys my experiences and my opinions. And, you know, I think that that's going to be very powerful, very impactful uh, to the detailing industry. And while I'm only one man with an opinion, just like you are, um, I feel like I bring a a, a, a strong, solid core of a dynamic to the mix. I have been a pro detailer for over 15 years. Uh, I still actively pursue detailing uh, as well as my other endeavors. And I'm a very experienced, very established detailer. And so because of where I've been, where I've come from, and the things that I've done and seen, I can provide you with a very, very quality, um, it's going to be an opinion, but it's more of a blend of, of how I feel about it and my actual experiences. And I can tell you that today's video is going to be about when should I go pro or when should I go full time. And, you know, there are several different types of detailers. There are the detailers that go all about the high end. There's the middle of the road detailers that will take the high end stuff. Um, and then will also do pretty much everything in between. And that's where I fit in. Um, I have not found uh, that the high end is, is an area where you'd want to stay and just focus in. Uh, I like to, you know, I like uh, job security and that kind of thing. And I like to know that when I wake up in the morning, I've got a job to go do to make money to, uh, you know, feed my family, buy stuff I want to buy, uh, pay my bills, that kind of thing. So for me, job security is more important than, you know, just having this elite situation amongst my friends and you know I did this Ferrari and this Lamborghini and this Bentley and who cares who cares I am so sick to death of all these guys out there that are bragging about what car they did I've done pretty much every different manufacturer on the planet well that's probably not true uh, I'm in America and uh, there are lots of other manufacturers around the world but I can tell you that a true detailer gets personal gratification and gratifies the customer whether they're working on a Ford Focus, uh, a 1987 Ford Escort, or a uh, 2016 Ferrari 458 or uh, whatever the new bullshit, whatever, I don't even follow that shit. Um, but my point is, it should be gratifying no matter what you do. Um, you know, a lot of us come into detailing as a hobbyist and they bring, you know, that hobbyist mentality in. And the problem is if you can't get out of that hobbyist mentality and shift into a businessman mentality, you're never going to be successful detailing. And, you know, so I've always, you know, put a lot of thought into it initially years ago, uh, you know, about halfway through into my career, so probably about eight years ago, you know, I started thinking about, you know, when, you know, once I started getting established, a lot of people wanted my advice. And so you know, I had to think about these things and really, you know, 
think about how I could give them solid quality answers to these questions I was being asked. And now it's a different world. I mean, everybody wants my advice, which is exactly why I'm shooting this mini series and doing the new YouTube channel and, and, and shifting to the direction that I'm going now. Um, you know, I, I'm sick and tired of like not saying things because the industry wants you to be quiet about it or it's just like an unspoken rule. Screw all of that. I don't care about your rules. I make my own rules. And uh, that's kind of where we're at. So I was thinking about, I can remember thinking about when should, what you know, people ask me, when, when is a good time to make that switch from, you know, doing the work on the side, doing the work in my garage, doing the work on the weekends, um, when should I quit my full-time job and go pro? Um, and, you know, I thought about it for a while and you know I started to put together just you know uh, you know do some simple math to figure out you know what kind of money I'm bringing in and you know when the money's coming in and where and what time type of year and um, so I think that a good estimate for when you should go full time now, keep in mind, going full-time means a lot. I mean, if you've got three car payments, if you've got a mortgage, if you're married, if you've got children, um, you have to think about those people first before you think about the passion that you have to jump into a new career. Uh, I can tell you that if you're already making good money, if you're making $50,000 plus, you probably want to think about just keeping your full-time job uh, and doing continuing to do the detailing on the side um, it's it, can you make a thousand dollars a week detailing I would say relatively easily you know with you know good business skills a good business sense uh, decent quality uh, and you know being a, a relatively decent people person uh, it should not be a huge issue to bring in a thousand dollars a week in fact you could possibly double that and not really really press yourself but in a good area and you know I, I would say most detailers don't make that mu that much money I have talked to a lot of detailers and and most of the money that they're making is you know between twenty and thirty thousand dollars a year um, now keep in mind I mentioned before in another video that um, the cost to profit ratio should be ten percent so if you're bringing in a thousand dollars a week a hundred dollars of that is what it costs you to do it all so you're really only profiting 900 or less than that depending on how you do your stuff I mean uh, if you're not following what I'm telling you you're probably losing I can tell you that you know the the formulas that I give you for this simple math and these ratios and all that stuff it is proven this is not an opinion this is fact this is stuff that I have used for years that really really work well that get me on top and if you follow this this stuff, I'm telling you, you'll be successful. Um, I want to shoot another video about you know the training that you get from certain people and you know how you use that training. In fact, I'll probably do that video after this one for volume 12. But um, so if you have a bunch of bills, if you've got, if you're making 50 grand plus per year, um, if you have a family who relies on you to pay the bills and make sure that they're good, I would highly suggest that you not ditch your day job, that security of that full-time job to go detail. Um, you know, for me, if you're making $50,000 plus doing something else and that makes you at least relatively happy I would I would just do that I would not I would not pursue detailing full-time if you're making fifty thousand dollars or more I would continue to do it part-time and really you know as far as you know building wealth if you will or just having money and you know being uh, you know not having to worry that much about uh, you know paying the bills and that kind of thing 
I think that the $50,000 threshold is a good idea, a good point to, to stick with what you're doing and detail part-time. It's going to be pretty difficult to make over $50,000 a year uh, for at least several years unless you've really got a good plan. I'm not saying you can't do it. I mean, it's done. Um, it's done. <laughs> I'm just saying that it's not easy. You're going to have to work hard. You're going to have to work long hours. Um, you're going to have to worry. You're going to struggle. Um, some bills may not get paid for a while. I mean, that's the reality of the situation. If you quit your full-time job, the security of that and go into something that, you know, you don't really know. So what we've all been waiting for is what's Gary Dean's ratio for when I should go professional. Now, this is I've told many, many people this, and many, many people have taken my re recommendation, and it has worked out very, very well. Um, my recommendation for when you should finally go professional and go full-time detailing would be if you are consistent, or I should say, when you have consistently made more money, more money, so more than what you make in your full-time job in a five-day work week, in the two-day weekend for six consecutive months, that's a good indicator that you are going to make decent money, stay relatively busy, or at least busy enough to compensate you for the lack of the security in your full-time job. Um, so again, just to recap in that, when you can make more money, so if you make $1,000 in your week, in a full-time job, if you make $1,001 on the weekend in addition to the full-time job, but you're making more money part-time than you are at your full-time job for six consecutive months every single week, that's a good indicator that you should probably do something with that because it's working out. Um, so there you go. There you have it. Um, you know, it's going to be hard for you to do that in the winter time anywhere up north. Keep your winter situation in the back of your mind when you make these decisions. I can work down here all year round. I mean, I, I've been fortunate in my uh, business endeavors where I don't like I don't have to do well. I mean, I, I have lots of things that I I I, I do every day, but. I've got lots of different things going on. And as far as the detailing, now I take jobs I want to take. If I don't want to do it, I, I don't do it. That's the bottom line. I've been very fortunate. Um, but you've got to remember to not forget about your responsibilities that you have before you take on uh, the detailing situation. I mean, it's really important to keep keep in mind that your responsibilities don't go away because you've started this new career. And um, you know, I would I would definitely recommend if you don't know what you're doing, it's even more important not to jump into any business full time and quit your day job. I mean, that's just a silly idea to do that. Uh, but like I said. If you are making, when you get to a six month point where you've consistently, when you've consistently made more money in your part time detailing business or endeavor or uh, side situation than you are in your full time job, that would be a good indicator that you should do that. Now, there's other situations where Maybe you don't have a job. You want to start a detailing business. Well, the problem with that is you probably don't have the money to get into it like you should to properly care for your customers with product and equipment. Um, the problem with that is you look like a random idiot trying to clean some cars at that point. And that's no way to do it. You want to look professional. You need shirts. You need um, signs. You need good equipment, good products. And that's what's most important is looking good, feeling good, 
and being professional and taking care of that customer and getting yourself out of that hobbyist mindset and into the de the, the the detailing businessman mindset because if you don't if you start your full-time detailing endeavor and you're still in the hobbyist mindset you're gonna fail anyway regardless of whether or not you're making the money right over a long term or I should say a short term in the long term scheme of things you're gonna fail if you can't bring the businessman to the table so uh, if you guys got any questions for me uh, let me know 813-846-4406 I can't help you if you don't reach out if you have any thoughts about the videos that I shoot or whatever I'm open to hear about them if you need if you have a request for a video I'm more than happy to entertain that put you on the list get you shot go from there but guys this is serious I mean you know think about that ratio I just gave you if you have made more money in your part-time gig detailing than you are in your full-time job for six consecutive months it's time to start thinking about doing it full-time the money's right and why not the problem is those winter times are going to kill you you're going to be slow so unless you can find a way to compensate so make a ton of money in the summer where you're putting money back for reserves to get you through the winter where you don't have that much work you're going to fail you're going to it's not going to be good and think about your families guys think about your children think about your bills think about your livelihood i mean what are you doing it all for Think about that stuff. You have got to think. I hope if I've done nothing else with these videos, I'm putting things in a perspective for you. I mean, I'm told every day that I don't think like a normal person. I think way too much and way more, but I get more done than the average Joe. That's the bottom line. So if you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406, use it or I can't help you. Thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for taking the time to watch my videos. I know I'm long-winded. I don't give a fuck. It is what it is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, have a great day.